What's going on YouTube? This is your boy Adventures Man back at another video today. You read the title. We're gonna be talking about these upcoming releases for October, man. It's a couple of sneakers coming out uh, that I really, really like, and I'm more concentrating on this month. There's a lot of other shoes dropping that's kind of like, eh, I ain't really feeling. Uh, but the shoes we're talking about today, I feel like you guys are gonna want to go after and get and want to know a little details about it. And of course, see some pics from your boy Adventures Man. So if you're new to the channel right now, what I need you to do is subscribe right now. Ring notification bell for your boys so never missing the video. Your boy just went live last night, went Tops World. I'm going to be going live more often, I promise you guys. Uh, I just figured out how to do it. So make sure you hit the notification bell for your boys so you can tune in to the live stream. Stop by, say what's up to your boy. Follow me over on Instagram at Adventures World. Link will be in the description box below. And like the video right now, man. It's free. Hit it. It helps the channel grow. And also make sure you comment down below. Throughout the video, let me know which sneakers you are feeling, man. So with all that being said, let's jump right into this video. Let's get it. All right, so right now I have the laptop. We're gonna check out Kicks on Fire. Uh, their sneaker list. I seen some on my phone, but I was like, let me go ahead and put up on the laptop. So I'm going to scroll and talk through the shoes, man. The first shoe that I see that I feel like everybody's gonna go after, and it's a, it's gonna be a sleeper. I feel like it's gonna be one of those shoes everybody mad they did not get right when they dropped. And I feel like it's gonna be the Air Jordan Nine Gemres, man. Check the picture out. These shoes right here is super, super dope. And if you want to see an early review, the one I have watched already is uh, on Top's World channel. So if you have not subscribed to Top's World, go check it out. Did a review and on feed over these guys, and they're very dope. I don't have a lot of nons in my collection, but when you drop like those simple, basic colorways like this, uh, with that all patent leather red and the predominantly white shoe, I, I gotta cop it, man. Like, I gotta go get it, you feel me? So hopefully, it's not a shoe that's gonna be limited. Hopefully, it's a shoe that's gonna be easy to get. And they're retailing for $190 and release October the 5th, man. So y'all stay tuned. Make sure y'all see if they're doing first come, first serves, uh, raffle systems, whatever you're doing. If you wanna go get these shoes, let me know right now in the comments from below and make sure that you're aware of what's going on around your city, man. So let me know if y'all feeling the Air Jordan 9 Gym Reds. I know that's definitely gonna be a cop for October for me. Let's get into the next sneaker. All right, the next shoe we have is the Air Jordan 10 Seattle Supersonics. As y'all know, they like discontinued the whole Seattle Supersonics and they moved to the Oklahoma City Thunder. But this shoe is pretty dope, you feel me? Uh, I love the color blocking. Of course, the Air Jordan 10 is always basic because it has like one predominant uh, part about this shoe and it is like the upper. And we got a couple of different uh, designs in Air Jordan 10s like the desert camels that dropped uh, but these right here i can see a lot of people going after and getting i feel like my subscribers are really like jordans really do the best on the channel as far as reviews like comments uh the interaction rate and i think that you guys are going to be feeling these air jordan 10 seattle supersonics man it's nothing bad about this shoe it is like another basic 10. uh you dropped the orlando's earlier this year that i copped and it, it, they're pretty much basic man you got the all white upper with the stats that's colored with whatever color blocking is with these it is green and a jump man is yellow on the bottom and the inner of the shoe is green man so you check out the picture y'all let me know how you're feeling about these they retail for 190 dollars of course and they release october the 19th so y'all let me know man make sure you hit that like button if you have not hit it already let's get into the next sneaker all right the next shoes that we're going to talk about is the off-white nike woman's waffle runner man so this shoe right here is very different it's a shoe that's similar to this one that they dropped with like the spikes at the bottom and i was just about to buy literally before uh, doing this video and i was like ah oh, i seen these and i was like i like them blue joints i like the white pair the gray and pink pair is like it's all right but if definitely the blue pair that could definitely come to my collection man they, they dope they different and you got like the spikes and stuff at the bottom of it giving it like a new look to it giving a new look to that waffle racer and i really want that shoe man like hopefully it's not too crazy on resale i know the other pair that i was looking at they're not going for that much going for like 300 in my size uh hopefully these stay real low around like 250 300 and i think they do retail for uh 190 bucks i believe hold on one second these actually retail for $150, so not bad. If you can get it for retail, I would definitely go cop. You know what I'm saying? It's not a bad sneaker. It's different. It's off-white. If you got a little hype, be saying you're definitely going to want to get these out of any of the shoes that's dropping this month. So let me know how you feel about these. October 24th, $150, copper drop. Let's get into the next sneaker, man. Okay, so the next sneaker is the Air Jordan 1 High OG Shattered Backboard 3.0. And I've seen like a lot of reviews. I've seen about four or five earlier reviews already. And I'm like, uh, I'm still not knowing if I'm actually like liking this shoe. Because you know Air Jordan 1s, if you love Air Jordan 1s, uh, it's like the talk of the year, talk of the last two, three years, I believe. Air Jordan 1s have been on everybody's radar. And these right here is just like, I don't know if I'm liking the colorway or if I'm just liking it because it's the Air Jordan 1, you know what I mean? So y'all let me know how y'all feel about these all over patent leather Air Jordan 1. I know they dropped this with the Air Jordan 1 High OG 
uh, Defiance with the red stripe that went over the uh, swoosh and around the shoe. That all patent leather upper was super trash. The creasing was terrible. And I would hate for that to happen to this shoe right here, man. So y'all let me know feel about these. Of course, they retail for $160, as usual for the Air Jordan 1s. And they release October 26th, man. So coming up at the end of the month, this is definitely going to be a lot of people radar. I think the resale is going to be super crazy. I think that the release date, they do like first come, first serve and stuff like that. I think it's going to be crazy. And I definitely got to bring the camera so I can get that live reaction, man. So yeah, y'all let me know I feel about these Air Jordan 1 uh, Shattered Backboard 3.0s. Is it an honest cop or is it like, it's just, it's just hyped up? You know what I mean? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get into the next sneaker. All right, so the last shoe that we have here is the Air Jordan 7 Women Black Patent Leather. The only reason I brought this shoe up because a lot of men's uh, that can squeeze up in the women's shoes do go after the women's shoes, of course. So uh, these right here, are, they super like, they look like plastic, you know what I mean? They don't look like no patent leather. They're looking like plastic on the shoe, you know what I mean? Uh, they call it the black patent leather, but y'all let me know what it looks like to you. So it doesn't look that good to me. It look more on the trash side to me, but these were released in October the 31st on Halloween, of course, and they retail for, what is it, $190. So they've been raising the women's prices up for the shoes. And I think that's just to say like men go after the shoes as well. So um, $190 for this all black patent leather uh, Air Jordan 7. And they got like a couple of hits of pink and purple. I know dudes do wear pink and purple. So I do have to throw this shoe on uh, the upcoming release calendar, man. All right guys, so that is it for the video. Not a lot of shoes that are scheduled to release um, in October as, as far as Jordan, as far as Yeezy and stuff like that. Uh, y'all let me know which ones y'all like the most and make sure you like the video if you're not already. Comment down below, let me know what you're gonna be going after. Let me know which one is hype. Let me know which one is just hot. And let me know which ones you just honestly wanna go get just because it's one of your favorite silhouettes, one of your favorite colors. Let me know all that in the comment section below. Make sure you follow me over on Instagram at Dimensions World, man. The link will always be in the description box below. Subscribe if you haven't not subscribed already. We're on the ground at 20K. We're right around the corner from 19,000 subscribers, man. Shout out to all the subscribers in the vintage game, man. I really appreciate it. We're on the way to 20K. It's going to feel so lovely. Appreciate everybody for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And with all that being said, I'm going to catch you in the next video, man. Peace.